Hello guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in this video, we are going to learn about solution to send SMS messages in Java for developers and marketers. So here we are using a text local platform in order to send the messages. So also in the program, we are using mm -hmm. HTTP request and response. Uh, so this is a simple way to send the data from one application to another application. So let's see how we can do it. So now the question is how it works. So how your Java program will directly send SMS to your personal mobile. So for this we need a service provider in between. So how that works. So I have my thumbnail image also there I have mentioned like uh, this is your uh, Java application and uh, what this doing that this is sending HTTP so tell service provider case. So this service provider has shared one API. So this is API and they have shared us. So we are using that API to call as a HTTP request. Now we are sending our SMS to first service provider that is the text local via HTTP request. And then this service provider will send the SMS to uh, our mobile. So this way it works. So now let's go and set up the text local so we have to go to textlocal.com so here uh, we have uh, countries listed for what they have provided their service so we have to uh, so currently i'm based in india so i'm clicking on this india then you will get to landed on this page textlocal.in so where uh, you have to enter your email id and uh, say create free account here you have to sign up for uh, uh, this account so you have uh, after entering your email account uh, so uh, when verification mail uh, you got at uh, your uh, inbox so you have to activate it via one link so this link is there so you have to click it then uh, one form uh, you have to fill up like what is your name and uh, this is for uh, friends and family purpose what is your address just like that so and here uh, you have to verify your mobile number and you have to create your uh, login id and then say activate my account so after activating my account uh, so you landed to like uh, you you will be logged into this uh, text local now uh, what we have to do so currently uh, i already have an account so i directly logged in so uh, what what step exactly we have to do like go to settings and go to api keys just click here so we need one api key in order to send uh, in order to connect with service provider so this is a unique key uh, with the help of that we can able to connect with the service provider so we have to copy this in our program and then we have to uh, use it for uh, sending the sms so remember one uh, one thing like uh, you, uh, you have to generate your own key uh, so by uh, clicking on this create new key so just click on this create uh, new key so it will create it will ask for save new key and uh, it will create one more key so whatever the generated key you have to copy it and you have to use in programming so let's go to let's write a java program with the help of this let's go to java program let's go to eclipse and uh, create new java project okay. send sms inside that create new class let's say sms send class create check the option for uh, generate the main class main method yeah so go to blog again so here i, I mentioned all steps so you can check on that so now create the new class and copy the following so i'm copying this 
and I am explaining what I have written here. So these packages I have to import it. So just I have to say Control Shift O. You have to choose Java.net.url. Yep. So now what is this? So this is the simple program. So we are using HTTP connection in order to invoke the API from the text local. So in this, uh, like uh, we have to give our API key. So whichever is generated in the text local website. So I have copied it already or I will copy it again. Remember you have to use uh, uh, your API key in your case. Yeah, so this I have given. So this message, uh, give, the, uh, give the message that you want to send to your sender, then the sender. So this will be optional. So this don't need to send it. So here uh, you have to provide your mobile number. <coughs> then uh, we, we, we have to write following HTTP connection in order to invoke your REST API or uh, HTTP URL connection call. So here I'm creating connection object. So here I'm providing the API from the text local class. So I'm sending the uh, send and uh, question mark open connection. So here uh, uh, I'm opening my connection. Then I'm setting uh, my data, like what is the message, what is the API key and what is the number. So for that, uh, I'm using uh, connection dot uh, set attributes like uh, this uh, method is a post method. Then uh, this content length is uh, uh, whatever the length of uh, our uh, data. Then uh, we have to mention uh, the uh, data type as a UTF-8 because it will not get uh, the spaces or uh, special characters from your message. So we have to mention uh, like uh, write into the bytes format and uh, then uh, whatever the output. So for printing that output, so we are using buffer reader. So from the buffer reader, I am getting this connection object, connection dot input string. And uh, I am uh, declaring string buffer and I am reading line by line what is the response. And then uh, I am printing my output. So whatever the output I got from text local API. And uh, here I am uh, uh, storing this inside the try catch block. Yeah, so that's it. So just I have to provide my mobile number and just say run. So I am doing providing my mobile number. For security purpose, I have blurred it. Yeah, so now just right click and say run. Yeah, so you can able to see the screen uh, where uh, I got the response. So like uh, the message has been sent and uh, uh, this this output I have got like balance is four means uh, they have provided like 10 free messages. So I have remaining four free messages Then batch ID cost and contain greetings and here my message id then recipient and status status is success and uh, this is my recipient address so yeah so so i will show you uh, my the mobile screenshot so that uh, how you, you will get to know how it looks like so let's see the screenshot of mobile so here we can say uh, on my mobile i have received this message sms like greetings from simplifying tech uh, have a nice day so this is uh, from tlt text at like text local so this is the same message uh, we have sent as a sms so details about this you can find into my blog so blog link is provided into video description so here also i have attached this image and also uh, it was just simulation of sms sending so it can be perfectly used to test your development but if you want to send sms in actual and bulk then you need to install gsm modem connection or ips sms connection yeah so thanks for watching my video